can we make this purse? I got it in tag sale into a pretty decor item. <laughs> I think we can. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know. And if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so look at I got this little purse at a tag sale, free. Yes, I'm so excited. And look what was in it. It had this like little uh, vintage little, um, it's like a mirror with a little comb. So cute, adorable. But anyways, we're not using that. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> All right, so I have these lemon napkins. I had gotten them from Hobby Lobby. Love it. Now I'm gonna use some wax paper and I'm also going to put my napkin onto this um, purse that we had and I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit just so that it's closer to the size that we want. Then we're gonna put our napkin pretty side down on our wax paper and I have some fabric Mod Podge and I'm going to put fabric Mod Podge on, the, on this napkin that we have on our wax paper. Now, this is not the right brush. I should have used like a makeup brush or a fluffier brush because this one, it just took a long time. But with that being said, you're just gonna cover the back of your napkin. Ta-da! Now, here we have my little purse thing, and I decided to clip the, um, you know, the flap, <laughs> the cover, whatever. I clipped it so that it didn't open, and then I'm gonna take my wax paper and napkin and fabric Mod Podge, and we're gonna put it on the front side of our purse. And now what we're gonna do is rub so that the napkin sticks to the purse and the wax paper comes away. Does that make sense? This is so gratifying. I can't even tell you how much I love doing this. Like seriously, it's addictive. I love it. But anyway, so see, I'm just rubbing this on and we're going to then carefully peel away the wax paper. And as you're peeling it, if you notice that a piece is still adhered to the wax paper, then just rub again and carefully kind of peel it off. And you'll see me do that here. You'll see how it kind of sticks a little bit, but then it pops off fine. Just go slow, take your time. Um, there's no hurry here, it's fine. Look at how pretty this is. Quit it right now. I know some of you are gonna ask, did I put a top layer of the Mod Podge on it? No, I did not. I wanted it to be more of a matte finish and I didn't plan on washing this, so I think it's fine. And now I'm gonna take a chip brush and I'm just gonna make sure that it's really adhered to the purse and just go all, all over it. This purse, by the way, is like a tweed kind of fabric. So it, it does have some, you know, a little bit more texture to it. So I think using the chip brush was helpful so that it got in all those nooks and crannies. And I did also, I kind of curled the napkin around so that it went around the edges and the top so that it was seamless. And I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I had a piece of, okay, don't judge me. It's an old piece of floral foam, <laughs> but it fit perfect in this little purse. So I decided to put the floral foam in and then I had a bunch of this, these leaves from a clearance floral arrangement that I had gotten. So I just pulled the leaves off because I thought they looked like lemons and lemon leaves that is. And then I had a box of these fake lemons from Dollar General and I just threw them all in it and look at what look at how pretty this is now you could glue it absolutely but I didn't because I want to be able to use the lemons again I know love me through it but look at how pretty anyways friends thank you so much for watching and I hope this inspires you